So we already went over how we can go about setting up assets for an asset gallery. But today I wanted to go over how we can go about organizing that and get the asset gallery actually to show up in our Houdini workspace. So let's go over that now. So to start off, once you have the Solaris context pulled up, you see that we don't have anything in here that has a reference to the asset gallery. So we actually need to create a new pane so we can go to any one of these little plus icons. I'm gonna go down here and go to new pane tab type, go down to Solaris and then layout asset gallery. And you see that I have a bunch of assets in here or a few assets in here, I should say, that are just mega scans assets. I'm starting to create a master gallery of my assets uh, from mega scans that I purchased with them all set up nice and ready to be used but I've only got a few down so far, but it should be enough to give us an idea of what's going on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start over fresh here. Just gonna go ahead and delete all these assets. So once you have the asset gallery pulled up, you can add assets one of two ways, either this teddy bear icon and add them one by one, which I absolutely do not recommend because it takes a lot longer. You have to set up everything um, just one by one individually, which kind of sucks, takes forever. Or you can go over to this folder icon, open up the directory that you have everything saved in, which I have right here. So I'll just copy that file path and paste it in here, which was already set up. And we'll go ahead and click accept and okay. And then it'll load all of your assets in. So if you have a ton of assets, it's probably gonna take a little bit of time, but with just a few, it is pretty quick. So I would recommend either creating a, a scene specific asset gallery for your individual scenes, or I would create a master gallery that has all of your assets already set up that you can just load into whatever scenes you need, or at least the most common assets that you use, just because it is super simple to do, and you can tag this stuff with some useful information and really make it easy on yourself. So let's take a look at that. So first of all, we can select individual assets or we can shift select a bunch of assets at once, and then we can set different colors for them if we want. So I'll go ahead and set these plants to green. We can also edit metadata. So we can add meta tags to them. So can just go ahead and tag these as plants. And now we're all set up with that. So let's go ahead and just set up these other two real quick. So if you wanted to, you can add another tag. You can add tags super easily just by typing in different things there put spaces in them between them and it'll add different tags based on whatever you input. So I'll just go ahead and tag these all real quick. And once we have them all tagged, you can either search in here if you need to find stuff, you can search by name. So common fern, see I got three different variations for that. If I want the, to find this branch um, and I didn't necessarily have the uh, the name set up right. I could just set up organic because I had it uh, tagged as organic scatter. Or say you got a bunch of plants in your scenes, you can just type in plants, stuff like that. So tag them as specifically as you want or as unspecifically as you want, depending on what you're, what you're trying to accomplish. And obviously you have the different uh, views here for your different thumbnails. So Pretty easy. If you want to go through and edit stuff, you can just select one at a time in that little tag icon to edit the metadata. And then if you want to edit the assets, you can actually go in and edit them individually just by clicking the little pencil icon there. And then once you are ready to pull them into your scene, which this is kind of going to break our viewport, maybe you can go ahead and drop a layout node in here and then you can just drag them into the actual layout node and get going with that. So I'll be taking a look at that in more in depth in another video here, but I just wanted to cover quickly how you can get set up with your asset gallery, start tagging things and creating a nice little gallery of assets for you to use in your scenes. Uh, like I said, I would either recommend going in and creating a master gallery or just make a scene specific one, depending on what you're trying to accomplish say probably uh, a master one just to block stuff out. And then maybe you wanna go in specifically uh, later and just make a bunch of uh, scene specific stuff. But that's kind of up to you on how you wanna go about things, but hopefully this helped you out. And if you do know how to 
change the colors here. So I don't know if there is a way that you can add more colors, just kind of select your own. I really hope there is so that you have some more options if you run out here, because I could definitely see you running out of options with that if you're creating a, a master gallery. So if you know how to do that, please let me know in the comments. But anyways, hopefully this helped you out. I got a bunch of other videos on my channel going over Houdini, Houdini 19, the new update, all the different stuff that's in there. I got a bunch of stuff coming as well. So I'm gonna be taking a deeper look into uh, some of the new stuff in Houdini 19, as well as Solaris and kind of diving in deeper into that. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you subscribe and you won't miss any of that. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.